Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Matt Alvarez. Tonight's Bellwood School Board meeting featured frustrated parents on the lack of response to the case of former wrestling coach Ryan Blazer, who was found guilty last month for a number of charges, including aggravated indecent assault, institutional sexual assault, and corruption of minors and intimidation. Our Courtney Murphy attended that meeting. She joins us now live in studio. Good evening, Courtney. Good evening, Matt. Parents came to the meeting tonight looking for answers from the school board. One parent took to the stand saying things needed to be done sooner. Something needs to be done here, and it needed to happen a long time ago. Mother Sherry Noonan spoke for all parents tonight, calling out the board to release a statement. The room was full of frustrated parents looking for the status of former wrestling coach Ryan Blazier, who was accused of sexual abuse of boys in 2020. I spoke about the board not addressing. They've been silent ever since the conviction came down against Ryan. Um, there's been no response, no apology, no, no statement, nothing um, pertaining to the case. Newton's children were involved with the wrestling program during the time of the abuse, and this scenario hits close to home. She says that parents who have also been affected are going through similar frustrations. They're just frustrated. They're humiliated. They've been treated very badly by the school district in every sense of the word. Um, and it's been hell for them. After her speech, Sherry was given a round of applause from the parents. She says that she came to the meeting with hopes to have a closure. I'm here to get justice for, this, for these kids and these families and get closure and get what's done is right and get some justice for the people that are involved. We want the kids to be safe and feel secure within the walls that they go to school at. And we want the people to, to pay for what they've done. Now at tonight's meeting, the solicitor did address the parents, saying that the board cannot comment on the trial and the conviction. However, Noonan and other parents will continue to fight for justice. In Altoona, I'm Courtney Murphy, WTAJ News.